Tampa's Laurie Park Zoo is known for its wide variety of animals. But did you also know that its manatee hospital rescues, rehabilitates, and treats injured manatees? Manatees are aquatic mammals that love to move through our waterways. You can think of them as the lawnmowers of the sea because they prevent harmful plant life from overtaking bodies of water. The Tampa Bay area is home to over 200 manatees in winter and 100 during the summer. The West Indian manatee is currently on the endangered species list. But the David A. Strauss Jr. Manatee Hospital does its best to sustain the manatee population. I'll make sure you get in there. Yeah, I'll help you get them in a little bit more. In the forefront of manatee rehabilitation is this woman. Tanya Ward has been known to care for several manatees at a time, and each one has a story. You got it? This is the rock. She has no mother, so Tanya became her nurse. When the rock arrived, Tanya and the other caretakers kept her under 24-hour care. As caretaker, a big part of Tanya's day is feeding the manatees. Since manatees eat from both the water surface and bottom, she offers a variety of vegetation to these gentle creatures. At the hospital, the manatees have plenty of space to roam, and their lifestyle is close to what it would be in their natural habitat, so that when the time comes to transition back to the wild, the manatees are prepared. Every new patient gets the same amount of dedicated care, and each mammal is marked with a special tag so that they can easily be identified. So when a manatee first comes into the hospital, outside of seeing what initial treatment they have, um, we pit tag every manatee behind their shoulders when they're released. And so basically that's a form of, if we don't hear about that manatee, no news is, is good news. Um, if they end up dying for some reason after they've been in the hospital, the PAC lab can tell us by the pit tags. Manatees come to the hospital for several natural and unnatural reasons. During the winter, the hospital rescues more manatees due to cold stress, but humans can also harm them. For example, a baby manatee named Colada was severely injured by a boat. Because the calf is still nursing from her mom, they had to be rescued together. Now what happened when the calf first come in, came in? Do you see the white mark across the backside yeah. of her? Uh, basically, when the boat hit her, it fractured and broke three ribs, which in turn put a tear in her lung. So when they put the tear in her lung, when she came in, she actually had air in her body cavity, so she was actually floating. And that's what we call a pneumothorax. A major reason why manatees are so endangered is due to the fact that many people make bad decisions when they are out in the manatee's environment. Here are some things you should do. Always obey boating laws. If a manatee approaches you while you're in a boat, stop the motor and wait for the manatee to pass by. Do not leave fishing lines or other trash in bodies of water. Never feed manatees, and remember to observe them without touching. The biggest reward for Tanya and other caretakers at the Manatee Hospital is the ability to save the West Indian manatee one patient at a time. I love to be able to help, you know, get them better and, and to release them is the best part. A lot of people ask me, do you get attached? And like, no, they all have different personalities and I can remember just about all of them, but when you put them in the water and they swim out of the sling, it's just the best feeling ever to know that you, you helped them to get back to the wild. 